Right, so there's me sitting at the computer. What else is different? Hello everyone and welcome to my Sims 3 playthrough. Um, I actually originally had another video where I introduced all the Sims and everything, but that video, I don't know, the quality was kind of low on the audio, so, and I've actually completely forgot to uh, record the in-game, so, so I think I'm just gonna like use this video to introduce all of the Sims because, I mean, it's just much easier this way, and nothing really interesting happened in the first day. So, um, here's my sim. His name is Carl Brucker, which is not actually my um, real name. This, uh, oh, here are a couple of my traits. Uh, and yeah, um, I'm a loner, I'm a perfectionist, a genius, ambitious, and a computer whiz. Or uh, so, pe so people keep on telling me. My lifetime wish is to become an astronaut because I mean of course no why not and I already took a job at the military and I already got promoted on day one. So this here is Iris Schuler. She's also a loner but she's handy, a genius, evil and a computer whiz. So she's basically like my dark twin or something. And her wish is to become the emperor of evil and she's already in that career. She's just got to improve her athletics somewhat. And uh, um, I'm currently out of money, so I can't really buy her any gym equipment. Right here, we have Gray Menace. He's a nice guy. He uh, is flirty. He's a workaholic. He's unlucky. He's vehicle enthusiast. And he's a, yeah, he's a smoother. Whatever you pronounce that. His goal is to be a heartbreaker. Because, of course, why not? Just, I mean, look at him. All right. So, let's just go along. So, this is actually very much going to be a... Let's just go along with the flow and see what happens kind of playthrough. Like of course I'm neglecting my hygiene, which never happens in real life. Work indefinitely. She's dreaming about him. Hmm. I don't think he wants to break her heart. Something desperately bad could happen. Oh, there's a good Kyle. Washing the shower. Doing all the stuff I don't do in real life. <clears throat> what am I gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna go scream at the light again. What did I tell you? I just randomly go up to lights and just yell at them. You might want to go to sleep, my dude. Or my, uh, might I say gray haired King Tut? What, what happened now? Did he... Did he make more money? He made more money! Oh, well then get back in there, like, you workaholic. Make us more money. We can definitely work for four hours. No, 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 okay, okay, I'm, I'm kidding. Just go to sleep. Take care of yourself at the very least. Don't stay up in the night drinking coffee. Mess hall server. Okay, well, I, I need to get these morons a treadmill. Well, I, I could send them jogging. Uh, time now. Sleep until fully rest at 3.30. Okay, yeah, then you can, I could maybe go for like a jog or so and then just hope they take care of themselves at least. I mean, it's it's so annoying to tell everybody, like a bunch of little kids, just like, please go shower, wash your undies. I mean, really, at least laundry isn't a thing in this game. I think there's a mod for it, but no, then it's getting too real. Name your saved game. That's fine enough. Oh yeah, that. By the way, this this game is modded. I did install a couple of Enros mods. Um, I can't actually remember how many I installed, but like the story progression mod and then the resetter will re randomly just reset a co couple of vehicles in the open world so it doesn't need too much memory and cause errors and something yeah like now it's 48 vehicles have been removed so yeah just normal housekeeping stuff boring stuff really and look at me about to save OCD I literally just saved but take care of that and then you go for a job my good dude oh, you, you made up a bed oh, there's a good little boy there's a good boy Guess you're gonna jog up here, and you're gonna jog all the way back. Jog, 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 jog. We'll come for him in about an hour. Wait, what? Oh gosh, I forgot. No, go back, you need to shower. Now, immediately. Okay, go to work. I completely forgot that I'm an early worker. So I'm gonna go to work all nice and stinky, and then get a pile of doo-doo on my head because of it. I'm late for work. Oh no, this is the military. You're playing video games, did you take care of yourself? No, you didn't. I need to remind you, please go take a shower. An evil shower at that, but still a shower. And then, like, have some leftover mac and cheese. The burnt mac and cheese I made in the last episode that, you know, actually never recorded because the quality was poor. And now the thing's broken. Oh gosh, it just keeps on piling on. Okay, well, no time for you to go poopy. Good heavens, if you don't ba babysit these sims, they do stupid things, I tell you. Like, there's me, I'm dead hungry. <laughs> T sucks to be you, boy. You're late for work. Everybody's late for work today. 
This is the one where everybody's late. They are at the, um, uh, the a uh, blue place. Oh, look at that. It's Windows. Windows 11. He's, he's involved in the development of Windows 11, which kind of makes me fear for the future of our infrastructure. I have a bit of an idea, but I need a little bit more money. Like, what if we all, like, have separate rooms and we can like, play like we're, like, a landlord or something, you know? Just like dolls when I was a kid or something. <laughs> I don't know. But maybe, like, have, like, different houses for these guys. So they have their own houses completely independent from one another. I think that would work the best. Yeah, shoe made. I can go out for another jog, I think, and then I can go to sleep. So then, let's go all the way. Let's jog all the way to the cemetery. So then if I die, then at least um, it's not such a biggie for the people who have to carry me in. Oh, look, sunflower. Who is this? Enola Green. Here lies Enola Green. Always loved. Haha, uh -huh, noob. Once you're done, I think what you can do is, since you love fishing, uh, not in the ocean, no. Go up here, visit Pinocle Pond. Pinocle? Well, apparently I'm running over the hilltop. Okay, great. Now I can jog all the way back. Jog all the way home. Take a shower, and then you can go to... You can go to bed like the good boy you are. Okay, buddy. At least just take care of yourself. Like, do an autumn salad. At least that won't burn the place down. I mean, these, these sims, you know. Oh, she's off today. I was like, why is she not going to work? Right, so after a while, my sims have all gotten promotions, basically, except for Iris, who's still just a cut purse. Uh, but she has been working on her athletic skills, so that makes my heart just so warm for my little criminal over here. And um, Gray also just got a promotion. He's now a report processor. He needs to improve his relationship with his, uh, with his co-workers and his boss. So, I mean, really... <laughs> And yeah, I mean, so far uh, things are actually going upwards. They're earning a lot of aspiration points and all that. So yeah, things are going pretty swell. It's just I need to make a lot more money so I can upgrade this place. And I'm not willing to cheat. Uh, because that just takes out a lot of the fun. Yeah, great Kyle, just leave it for somebody else to fix. Now, I know she's at the way, she'll be out of the way in a moment. Just be grateful that she's actually fixing your stuff. Actually, I think that's gonna do it for now. Um, yeah, this was actually a pretty lengthy recording that I did. Uh, so yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please let me know, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys again soon with another video right here on Jettison Inc.